What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this old Monday. I'm doing pretty good myself. Shout out to Annette D for sending me this story right here. And you are right. It is a doozy, a big doozy. <laughs> wow. Um, it says here, one of America's largest meat producers has ominous warning about the grocery store of supplies. Okay. And uh, severe, perhaps disastrous repercussions, they're saying. You know, and of course, we know this has something to do with the COVID-19 situation, all right, that we hear, you know, have here in this country. But to get into the story, it says here, Smithfield's Foods, one of the nation's largest meat producers, has an ominous warning about America's food supply. Uh, the company announced on Sunday that it was closing its uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota plant after nearly 300 employees there tested positive for coronavirus. The Associated Press reported the plant is one of the largest pork processing centers in America and is responsible for producing uh, 18 million servings of food per day. Wow, that's a lot. Um, in a statement, Smith Fields uh, president and CEO Kenneth Sullivan said the COVID-19 outbreak is having disastrous impacts on the U.S. food supply chain. The closure of this facility combined with a growing list of other protein plants that have shuttered um, across our industry is pushing our country perilously close to the edge in terms of our meat supply, Sullivan warned. Uh, it is impossible to keep our grocery stores stocked if our plants are not running. These facility closures will also have severe, perhaps disastrous repercussions for many in the supply chain. First and foremost, our nation's livestock farmers, he explains. Well, uh, you know, this is a pork <laughs> plant, basically, you know. And uh, the Most High is against us eating pork. And that's the children of Israel, that is. He don't want us eating pork, so this is one way to get you off of it, you know. So I, I, you know, I don't miss the stuff anyway. So, uh, but I guess to a lot of other people, you know, they want their ribs. <laughs> but to continue here, it says uh, um, other meat processing plants have also closed temporarily because of outbreaks of the coronavirus, including a Tyson Foods facility in Columbus Junction, Iowa, where more than two dozen employees tested positive. That's a lot. Smithfield said uh, there will be some activity at the plant on Tuesday to process product that's already inventory. It will resume operation in Sioux Falls, Falls after receiving further directions from local, state, and federal officials. The company said it will continue to pay its workers for the next two weeks. The closure of Smithfield's plant and other food processing centers is strictly to protect the health of workers and of course the American public. And I hope that um I'm adding this. I'm I'm hoping that that the meat, you know, didn't can did get, you know, contaminated, you know. Uh you you wouldn't need that. And wouldn't it be something basically if it was coming from the food? You know, if COVID nineteen was actually coming from the food is the reason why a lot of people are testing positive for it. That would be a nightmare. But in conclusion here, it says the Department of Agriculture has said there is no evidence that COVID-19 has been transmitted through food or its packaging. Well, packing. The AP reported Smithfield Foods is owned by the Chinese based WH Group, the company which is known as Shineway Group outside of Asia, bought Smithfield Foods in 2013. Um, WH Group is the largest pork pro producer in the world. All right. Well, you don't need to be eating nothing that Asians are producing anyway. You know, because huh, I've been hearing a lot about what, you know, they're doing to black people over in Asia. And apparently the script has been flipped. All right. What was once the, you know, considered where the um, coronavirus a.k.a. COVID-19, you know, virus, what have you, originated over in Wuhan, China. Guess what? Now, 
the people over in China is being very discriminatory towards the black people that are over there. You know, they're kicking uh, people out of uh, the hotels or in their homes. They got them sleeping on the streets, even over in a McDonald's and I guess go on or whatever. Gawu, whatever. I, I can't really pronounce what um, the, the, this place, a city or town, whatever it is over there or Providence is, you know, but there's a McDonald's over there that was actually discriminating towards black people saying they're not going to serve black people. OK. And from what I understand, Kenya has actually. Um, how can I say? <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, well, they put Asian people out of their countries as a result of how uh, Asian people are treating black people, you know what I mean, in their country. And that's fair. And I think all of Africa should, you know, get on board with that, you know, see. That that's a pretty good retaliation as far as I'm concerned, you know, because you, you know, all of a sudden now, ever since this um, the uh, thing came out about black people are disproportionately being affected by COVID-19 more so than any other race or what have you. You know, I like I said, I do believe that they're cooking the books on that on a lot of these things that they're saying. You know, I'm not really buying it, you know, but y'all tell me what y'all think about this uh, situation right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.